welcome back to my channel let's ignore the missing stones on my nails I did these myself they just press on but they're so cute so for today I've never really done a really like a, like a really uh, 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 no 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 I've never done a talk through makeup tutorial for you guys and ignore the paint in my hair like right here and right here I was painting the bathroom and got a little carried away with the music and my hair touched some of the wet paint we're not gonna worry about that though we're gonna get into this look so the first thing I'm gonna do is my brows and I guess I can talk through brows with y'all cuz I never really did like a talk through brow I never really talked through how I do my brows which is very simple okay so what I usually use for my brows is this elf lock on liner and brow cream and this little brush from Morphe. When I do my brows, it's really simple because, I mean, look how thick they are. How's your summer been lately? Because my summer, amazing. Amazing, baby. It's been amazing because I've been home every day, sleeping till about 2.30, some days 4. I know y'all probably like, oh my gosh. But hey, that's me. I literally go to sleep at like 5 o'clock in the morning every single day. Sometimes later sometimes earlier I only ever went to sleep at 10 this summer like twice which is pretty good for me there's actually a lot of things like crazy things that happened not to me but like just crazy like I'm gonna cry I'm not gonna cry like Cameron Boyce's death oh my gosh y'all that really that really did something to me and it's like crazy cuz I never talked to him ever of course not but it's just really crazy that somebody that close in age with you can just be gone like that like we're not that close in age but I'm 16 he's 20 that's you know it really makes you reflect on your life and like makes you be even more grateful for what you have and like that you're here that you can wake up every day and do YouTube or whatever you like to do that is a blessing that's really a blessing when you think about it because not everybody gets a chance to do that okay enough with the sappiness I'm gonna start these brows now so all I do is brush my brows up and with this stuff, you want to go really light because if you go dark, you're going to get heavier strokes. Alright, after you've made the little front part, like this little line, go ahead and fill in the back, the tail, whatever you want to call it. And I kind of just like filled it in a little bit at the end because there's like a few sparse hairs. But that is pretty much all I do and then I brush the product up so it doesn't look too dark and it doesn't look too thick. Alright, so now I'm about to conceal under my brow. And y'all already know what I use. This little Morphe M224 brush and this concealer from Maybelline. This is the Master Conceal. This is the one that's empty. Y'all, I'm so excited. I'm going to have so many videos to put out because not next week but the next week I'm going on vacation. It's going to be so fun. I'm not telling y'all where I'm going on vacation just yet. I'm going to let y'all know when I get there. Because why not? But it's going to be really fun. And I've been there before. And it's really fun. Oh my gosh, did y'all watch Strange Things Season 3? Because I finished it all the day after it came out. I didn't have anything else to watch, so I was really sad. But I cried so much because freaking... You know what, I'm not even going to say nothing because I forgot. Not everybody watched it yet, but some people died. I don't think this one person died. I think he's somewhere else. But the other person did die. And he... I don't know how to explain it, but like he didn't deserve it himself, but the other thing did. You know what I mean? All right, so once I have like put the concealer all where it needs to be, I'm taking this little brush. I don't know what like it's called, but I'm just gonna softly blend out where it's a little harsh. Blending out my concealer really changed the game for me. When it get crunk, eyebrows on fleek. We in this bitch, finna get crunk. Abra's on fleek the fuck. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and dive right in to this tutorial. Alright, 
All right, so we're gonna first prime our eyelids. So this is a talk to tutorial, so I'm actually have to talk to y'all, which is hard for me to talk and do my makeup, but we're gonna see if we can do it today. So now that I have blended out my concealer, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this Carity Matte Palette, and I'm taking this shade Phantom first and putting that first. Now I actually zoom y'all in just a little bit so y'all can see my eyes because that's what we're really focused on now today so I'm zoomed in now and we're gonna get started so this brush I'm using is the Carity E31 alright so now that we are done blending out the dark blue I'm gonna take this blue from the James Charles palette and blend it right there hi guys this is my sister say hello hi hi her name is Brooklyn that's all you want to say? Mm-hmm. Okay. Why is this all over my freaking eyelid, bro? So now I'm taking this green and placing it right over here. This looks like a hot mess, but we're going to keep going and seeing if we can make it worse. Would you guys excuse me for a second? It's almost become a trend for me to start over on a look in my video. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the same thing I did just a few seconds ago and go in with this um, color right here, Phantom. Alright, so we have blended out this blue again and now we're going to lightly, very lightly add this blue to the front with a different brush. I feel like that was the problem last time. We're gonna use this brush instead. All right, y'all, so I switched brushes and I went back to the Morphe M513 brush because the other one just wasn't doing what I needed. All right, so now that we have blended that blue out, we're gonna add the green once again. All right, so now that it is blended out, I'm gonna go ahead and deepen up that dark blue that we first added so we can add a little bit more depth to it, I guess. So now I'm gonna go ahead and work on the crease. We're gonna go ahead and cut the crease. But before I do that, I'm going to take this makeup wipe and wipe off just a little bit of the shadow so you can't see it through the neon pigment. I always start right here whenever doing any kind of cut crease and look up just like that. All right, so now I'm gonna blend out the edges with this same brush that I blended out my base concealer with. All right, so now that I have blended this out and made it a little bit softer, I'm gonna go back in. I'm gonna go back in with this color Phantom and I'm gonna just put it on both sides. The brush I'm using to add that Phantom color is this Carity E28 brush. It's kind of fluffy and a little fat. All right, so I'm adding a little bit more concealer so I can make this a little path, I guess. All right, now it is time to add this neon pigment. I got this neon pigment with like six others from Mayo Makeup. I think that's how you say it. I'll have it linked down below in the description if y'all want to buy some. Look how pretty. Alright, so this is the look. I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye off camera real quick because we still have to do the bottom lash line and I'll be back. Alright, so these are the lashes that I'm going to be wearing. It's probably not focused and these lashes don't actually go in this box. I threw the box away, but this is what they look like. This is the glue I use. It looks a little crusty, but this is the duo dark tone glue. 
I feel like it's so much better than this one. This one is so sticky. All right, so lashes are on, and now we're gonna go ahead and go into my base makeup. So I'm starting off with this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Matte Primer, and this is honestly my all-time fave. This is the Ruby Kisses Concealer and Foundation. And before I blend my foundation, I like to spray my face with this Luminous Dewy Skin Mist or actually just any mist. Um, but I've been using this one a lot lately. I don't know, I like the dewy look even though I have oily skin. And I like to use this brush. I don't even know what it's called, but the set it came in, it said it was a, um, a highlighter brush. When I was using this as a highlighter brush, it was like way too big and had highlighter all down here. Alright, for powder, I'm using this Fit Me Powder by Maybelline in the shade Medium 25. Alright, so for bronzer, I'm going to be using this Fenty Beauty Matchstick in the shade Cinnamon. It's a mini, but it works all the same. And we're going to put a little bit right here, right up under that cheekbone. And I'm going to take this little unicorn brush and blend out. Alright, so as for powder bronzer, I like to use the Soft Focus Finishing Powder in the shade Creamy Bronze Finish from Black Radiance. It's so pretty. It's so, 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 so pretty. In my eye. This is really pigmented, so I recommend tapping off the excess and then just lightly brushing some of this on. I use this to kind of set um, the cream bronzer, I guess, so you can say. And then I bring this to my forehead. So for blush, I'm going to use a shade from this Carity Matte Palette. And the shade I'm using is this Coquette. I think this is what it says. I'm not sure. But um, I really wanted a coral-y, coralish blush. And I don't have like a actual coral blush. So we're going to use this. So while this palette is still out, I'm going to go ahead and go do my under eye. Alright, so taking that same phantom dark blue color, I'm going to smoke out my bottom lash line. Alright, so I left a little space in between this blue so I can add some more of this pigment. Let me just say, this pigment is bomb. All right, now that I am done, I actually put a little bit in my waterline. I don't know if you guys can see it. But I'm going to go ahead and use this Pixie Hydrating Milky Mist to spray my face. I'm going to go ahead and go in with this shade, Get Laid. For lips, I think I'm going to do a matte lip. Never do matte lips, but I'm feeling like a matte lip today. So I'm going to line my lips with this eye pencil in dark brown. So the shade I'm going to go in the middle of my lips with is this color right here. Alright y'all, so this is the final look. I hope y'all enjoyed me giving y'all a little tutorial. I think I did pretty good to say this is my first talk through tutorial. Thank y'all so much for watching and I'll be back next week with another video. Or maybe not next week, but soon. So, peace.